B'Shem Hashem Nahasev V'Natsiyach. This Tzvah Torah is recorded for the Neshama of my father, Shlomo Chaim Ben David, Harini Kaparat Mishkabo Zatzal. We know this week's parasha Yaakov gets into a whole wrestling match with the archangel of his brother Esav. And ultimately he prevails. It's for this reason that we Jews are not allowed to have the sciatic nerve of four-legged animals and it's so fine, hard to find kosher filet mignon. And the angel actually, during this wrestling match, changes Yaakov's name to Yisrael. But Yaakov asked the angel a very interesting question. He said, what's your name? The angel says, why do you want to ask my name? Lama tishalachemi, and he does not reveal his name. Now really, who was this angel that Yaakov was wrestling with the whole night? His real name, the Zohar says, is Samael, the Satan, which happens to be the angel of Esav. Question number one is, why does Yaakov want to know the name? Question number two is, why doesn't the Samael, the Satan, want to reveal his name to Yaakov? So Rabbi Fran brings from Rabbi Chaim, Dov Keller, the Rosh Hashiva, tells such a beautiful answer, which is really, really eye-opening and so pertinent for today's modern society. And that is, is that Rav Keller says, First of all, a name, the reason why Yaakov wanted to know the name of the Satan is because name reveals the essence, right? What you're named, if I'm named David, my, that's who my essence is, right? That's why it's called the Holy Tongue, Lashon HaKodesh, because the name gives us an insight into the soul of what the essence of that thing is. Now, any good soldier knows, any good general knows, the more you know about your enemy, the better you can fight against him. So Yaakov wanted to know what the name of his enemy was, which he's trying to know what the essence and motive of his enemy is so he can conquer him. Because, Ma'ase avot siman lebani, make no mistake, by Yaakov Avinu, being able to overcome Esav's angel, the Satan that whole night, that inculcated in our DNA our ability to always overcome evil and overpower evil. So the reason that Satan didn't want to reveal his name to Yaakov is very simple. The Satan is programmed, he's the greatest chameleon of all time. He's the greatest wolf in sheep's clothes. He will use any and every philosophy and movement to make us forget about God and his holy values in the Torah. He will use Hellenism, like Hanukkah's coming up in two weeks. He will use communism, humanism, atheism. And really, the Satan is so infamously a terrorist that he's really, really a wolf in sheep's clothes. I just wanted to bring out this idea that it's fascinating The Satan will use every and any tactic to fool you, to run away from holiness and God, to fool us and make us depressed and not connected to our Creator. The Zohar, for example, brings such an unbelievable idea that he says that the crown jewel, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, and we know this from the Torah itself, that the crown jewel of all good attributes is to be humble. But even that the ha- Satan can hijack. Because the Zohar says, Yesh anavad de There is an inferior and undesirable humility. If, the, if you use humility as an excuse for being lazy and not taking responsibility, and saying, oh, there's greater people, I won't go teach Torah, I won't go do Kiruv, I won't go and save somebody's life or do this mitzvah because I'm not worthy. That's the Satan speaking to you. He's a wolf in sheep's clothes. Or Chacham Ben Sion and Rav Volbe also bring down like the greatest antidote, the Chida, and all our greatest sages say to overcome the Satan is the studying of Musar, ethics. But even that the Satan can hijack. He can make you look so under a microscope, like you say, oh, well, you have, you're an angry person, 
you're haughty, you have every single dirty and bad character trait in the world, there's no hope for you. So even that, Chacham Ben Sion Avashaul Zatzal writes, when you learn Musar, you have to understand, this is growing, this is coming close to God. If, if, if a certain book of Musar is causing you to become more depressed and makes, makes you give up, then that's not God, that's the Satan. So the Satan, this is why the Ramchal writes, it's after we ate from the tree of knowledge and the first sin that mankind did, it became super extraordinarily difficult to overcome the Satan because he can use, he became part and par- parcel with us and a lot of times it's hard to identify our enemy. That's why it's so difficult to deal with terrorism in the real physical world, but in the more real and deeper spiritual world, the Satan is the ultimate terrorist. He will dress up in any form, make himself look so noble and humble. And that's why the Gemara actually in Chulin Daf, page Sadi Aleph, page 91, says that this angel that dressed up to wrestle with Yaakov, and this was, you have to understand, it was a spiritual wrestling of darkness and evil, evil versus light and positive energy. He was dressed up like a Talmud Chacham, like a rabbi, like a holy person. So may Hashem help us to know that he has, the Ben Ishchai brings that the Satan has 400 different generals, which means he has four different 400 different way tactics to want to make us steer away from holiness and God. And the ultimate thing, like one of my wonderful colleagues, I always thank him for this, the ultimate litmus test to know that is this idea coming from your Yetzar Hatov, from the good and the angelic inclination, or is it coming from the Satan, is ultimately... Is this leading you away from God or towards God? Is it leading you to happiness and more service of God or not? So may Hashem help us that this very dangerous enemy, we should know that he will stop at nothing to make us sin. But just like Yaakov Avinu prevailed over his evil, if we pray to God, like always when I go visit Rav Chaim Kanyanevsky, he says, Leit Palel, short and sweet. We have to ask God, cry to God for help us to always make the wise and prudent decision to listen to our Yetzar Hof, to listen to our Neshama and always become closer and closer to God. Have a wonderful day.